hey you guys welcome back to my channel today is friday and i'm three days out of surgery feeling good so i wanted to go ahead and get back to work there's a lot that i'm late on i actually recorded videos right before the surgery and unfortunately did not have time to edit them and get them up so i'm going to be working on that this evening so if you guys notice there's videos that pop up on youtube today and it says happy monday it's because i recorded it monday i do apologize anyways today we're going to talk about brianna de jesus and kill laurie now just when we thought brianna de jesus could not get any more messier she proves us wrong it looks like brianna de jesus is actually gonna have a party this weekend it's like a bash kale party to celebrate her winning this defamation lawsuit now that's not that much of a big deal like at first i was like okay she wants to have a party she won you know She's not going to have to pay Kel a bunch of money. She's not going to have to continue putting money out for this lawsuit. Like, I understand. She's going to celebrate, right? She won this lawsuit. Celebrate. Okay, I get that. But then the more I kind of read into it, I was like, oh, this is like a ha ha ha. She's inviting the production, like Team Mom. She wants them to film. She's inviting everyone from like Team Mom, like Team Mom OG, Team Mom 2, Team Mom Young and Pregnant, even Janelle Evans. She's inviting Janelle. Um, you guys know that Janelle and Kel Lowry, they have, you know, beef back and forth. So it seems like she's really doing this to be petty. Like, I would not be shocked to find out that she invited Chris. Like, seriously, I would not. I, honestly, she probably did. I haven't heard that yet, but I would not be shocked. So quick update. I recorded this, I don't know, a few days ago. After I recorded this, Brianna De Jesus she retweeted the Ashley story. Someone commented under it saying, girl, give me the address and I will bring a bottle. Under that, Brianna commented saying something about, let me give you the address. And then Malik, Kel Laurie's ex-boyfriend, he commented the little eyes. And then she said, come on, I'll see you in the info. And Malik said, I'm pulling up for real. So while we don't know if Chris Lopez is going to show up, it looks like Kel Laurie's other ex-boyfriend will be there. So the Ashley put up an article. We're just going to kind of go over it. Um, because I, I actually think like reading this, it really kind of tells us that she is doing this to be shady. Like, right. It's not just like, I'm going to have a party because this is done and over with. And thank God it didn't go any further where I had to spend even more money. And thankfully, Kale's going to have to pay me back for the money that I did spend. And let's just call it what it is and just have a good time this weekend. It's really like a ha 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 screw you, Kale, you're stupid, and inviting all the cast members as a way, I feel like, and to get them to choose, basically. Like, because if Kale finds out that there's this party to celebrate Brianna winning, and then she finds out that all of the cast members went, obviously, she's going to feel like the cast members chose Brianna over her, and then she's going to feel some type of way. And, you know, Kale has been with these people for, like, 10 years. Like, Team Mom 2, Kale's been with this group of people for 10 years while she may not get along with all of them brianna's fairly new to the game like and i think she's proved already that she could be really messy so i wouldn't want to get involved with that like i know her and jade's friends but if i was like leah or um who else <laughs> macy amber uh rachel if i was anybody else i'd be like i'm gonna stay away from this because it seems like she's a lot of drama so let me go ahead and go over this this article with you guys this is from the ashley's reality roundup so it says okay first off after the lawsuit was dismissed <laughs> brianna sent kale allegedly a clown suit and she went crazy on social media like posting uh instagram stories that rihanna song better have my money um Basically insinuating that Kel was a clown um, on the order for the clown suit. She was like, Siri, plate, better have my money. Like, in the notes, effing clown. Like, she's being so petty. Like, I understand Kel was a little petty to file this lawsuit, but at least she went about it legally. Like, she's like, you know what? I'm tired of her talking about me, so I'm going to take the steps that as an adult I would take if I feel like someone's defaming me. I'm not going to get in this back and forth on social media. I'm going to act like an adult and I'm going to file a lawsuit, even though, you know, it didn't, it, it was meritless and she really didn't have a lot of reason because Chris told Brianna all this stuff and there was an arrest and, you know, whatever. I feel like she at least did it in the way that most adults would do it. If you feel like someone's defaming you, you file a lawsuit. You don't just go back and forth. You're not sending treadmills and, and clown suits. Like, I'm like, Brianna, girl, you got two daughters who is sitting there watching you behave this way like can you grow up a little bit just a little bit just a little bit 
just a little bit, right? Grow up just a little bit. But no, you guys, I hate to say it. I hope, I hope that these girls do not see their mom behaving this way and think that it's okay to treat other people this way. Like you ever heard, turn the other cheek? Like, come on, teach these girls to be a little bit better, right? So anyways, after this uh, lawsuit was dismissed, she sent the clown suit allegedly. And now it's being revealed that Brianna is throwing a party this weekend to further throw it in Kel's face that she won the lawsuit. The Ashley's sources tell her that Brianna has extended invites to a bunch of the cast members from Team Mom 2, as well as Team Mom OG, and even Team Mom YMP. NTV cameras were also invited. However, the Ashley says she cannot confirm whether or not producers are taking Brianna up on her offer to film the event. However, they probably will. So the Ashley says here, with as bad as the ratings are right now, they will probably jump on this and film it. One production source tells the Ashley, if someone tips Kel off, it would make for glorious TV. So production, someone in production told the Ashley, if someone tips Kel off about this, it's going to make for glorious TV. So I really feel like this is what's going to happen. This is what I feel like is going to happen. I feel like they're definitely going to be there. And I feel like someone in production will tip Kale off. And it will just so happen that cameras will be there when Kale finds out about this party. I feel like they are going to find out who all is coming, who all is there. They're going to have, you know, a crew over at Brianna's filming this party. And they're going to have Kale's crew over here with Kale if she decides to film. You know, according to Kale, she's not filming no more. But if they can get her to film while they tell her about this... I feel like they're going to try to do it just so they can catch her reaction, catch her upset. Um, you know, Kale says she's not filming, but I feel like they will do everything in their power to have a camera there when they tell Kale that Brianna's having this party and so-and-so is there and so-and-so is there and so-and-so from Team Mom 2, from Team Mom OG, from Team Mom YMP. And it's really going to make Kale feel like, like, wow, I've been on this show for like 10 years. I thought I had established some sort of relationship with some of these girls and now I find out they're going there. I feel like it's probably going to hurt Kale a little bit. That's if any of these girls even go. Um, according to the Ashley, a lot of the girls is like, no, this is too messy for me. According to the Ashley. And I, I'm glad to hear that because some of the girls, they're still young. You know, uh, YMP, they're like 17, 18 year old girls. Some of the girls, uh, OG, you know, Macy, they're in their 30s. So it says here, while Brianna is thrilled to be able to rub the wind in Kale's face, the, the idea of a party doesn't sit well with all the cast members and crew who were either invited or heard about it. Some of the cast and crew think that it's really low of Brianna to do this. I agree. They don't think it's a good look to attend a bash Kale party, especially when they personally have nothing against Kale. It's messy and immature. Absolutely. A lot of people think that this is just Brianna trying to get other cast members to pick a side between her and Kale. Honestly, most people in the cast don't care enough about it. I'm glad that she wrote that in there because I think Brianna thinks this is like such a big deal. Like, oh, look at me. You know, I just won this lawsuit. I was in a lawsuit with Kale and it was such a big thing. Like in the real world, girl, like no, everybody's paying attention to the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial, not yours. Like nobody cares. Like, congratulations, you won. I feel like you were entitled to that because even though I I do lean more towards Kale because I feel like Brianna is just so messy, I had to agree that the lawsuit was meritless. Like, I just knew it wasn't going to go anywhere. I was like, yeah, it's going to get dismissed, surely. Um, but the way that she's acting about it, it's not a huge deal thing, you know, like have your little party to celebrate, inviting the crew production, inviting team mom member, like cast members, Jade, Jade's your friend, invite her, keep it on the download, just do it with yourself and stop being petty Betty, you know what I'm saying? Because like, come on, you're an adult and you have children, don't be this way, like don't show your daughters that, you, that it's okay to act this way. Do it in your home. Be like, okay, I'm happy we won. I'm not going to have to spit out any more money for this. Kale's going to have to pay me back the money that we lost. Um, sure, but to blow it up to this big thing and invite everyone, I just don't see it. I don't see it. And I'm really glad that the other crew members, like in the, in the cast, they're seeing it the same way. That they're like, no, we don't have problems with Kale. We're not going to go to that. We think it's her being messy. Probably even some of the YMP girls are like, no, that's messy. Like, Ashley Jones is probably like, no, girl, that's messy. I'm not doing it. Ashley Jones, she's one of the smart ones. So, I feel like she's probably like, I'm going to eat my words if she attends this party. But I feel like Ashley Jones would definitely be one of the ones that's like, no, that's messy. I feel like Cheyenne Floyd would be like, no, that's messy. I'm not doing it. 
I think the only person from the crew that probably would go would be Jade. And that's because she's, you know, really good friends with Brianna. But yeah, you guys let me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is okay to have this party and for it to be like this big thing where she invites everyone? Or do you guys agree with me? Maybe it should just be like a smaller situation where it's not a bash kale type of situation. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if it happens, would you guys like to see the crew there? Would you guys like to see it play out on next season's Team Mom? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.